right, worlds in free fall, disarray. People think they know what they're looking at and they, they really don't know what they're looking at. Um, you need to be looking at the Polynex chart. The reason for this is because it's got the most information. Um, so I posted up this on my Twitter yesterday. I drew this red line, which would indicate stop losses that might be sat below these equal lows. Price has punched through it. Is this the bottom? I don't know. I still think, given the chaos in the world and the market, we're going to see price drop a lot lower. Um, how likely that is, I don't know. But is it a possibility? It certainly is. Can't be naive to not think that price will not go that low. Um, I look at supply and demand, where price moved from, where's the origin of the move. So everyone would think that, you know, back in 2017, you know, we got the um, the origin of the move down here. So you've got, you know, the 20 cent sort of range. But look how long price is spent there. Price spent the entire sort of year consolidating before move up, which would mean there's not a lot of orders left in the market to be filled at that price. There might be some crazy people that set orders down here, but one thing to, to recognise, which everyone goes on about, is the structure of the market. You see a big move up, prices come back down, and the origin of the move on the daily, if I can get this bloody thing to work, you know, price moved up, it hasn't been retested, origin of move up there, but also, look, there's the structure down here, you've got the origin of the move up, so 0 0.03 0 cents is a possibility, but also, I would say, you've got 0 point, you know, a cent, um, again, how likely is that? I don't know. Is it possible? Yes. It is possible, because, um, what, why won't price go there? Tell me, why won't price go there? And don't say it can't get a price or do whatever it wants, it's manipulated to fuck. But what you've got to remember is this. So those are the zones where I'll put up a new screenshot today on my Twitter. What we've got to remember is, if this is the, um, and I, I think this is probably going to be the, uh, everyone talks about the proverbial switch being flipped. Um, this is the switch being flipped. Chaos in the fucking world is flipping the switch. Um... I'll just put that little marker. No, that's the wrong one. Yeah, the flip, uh, the switch being flipped. Um, if you're a bank and you're going to be using XRP, Interledger Protocol, on-demand liquidity, would you be loading it up at? Um, why would you load up at fucking? Why would you load up at fifteen cents when you could load up at a cent? You know. Is that unreasonable to think that's a possibility? If you're a bank and you can control the market, what would stop you from loading up at a cent? Chaos, everyone's scared shitless. Um, and, you know, you can do what you want because we're just lemons. We'll just be watching. We don't know what's going on. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take a little screenshot and post it up on Twitter. But there you go my musings for the day i'll share this but yeah two weeks we'll see where we are but i wouldn't be surprised to see this big gap here why because look at the green candles anytime you've got structure like that price can and will find a way to fill it i mean look at the weekly chart big green candles guess what happened big red candles that came down it's filled it and now it's going lower in my opinion. I don't know it will, but I think based on what I know, that is what will happen. Be safe. Put some money aside. Don't go too crazy now, but I know I'm going to be waiting for payday, and hopefully by payday, we're down here, and, well, if it's down here, you could be possibly tripling your bags, doubling your bags, tripling your bags for not very much money. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see.